In a world where everything is revamped, remade, and recycled, comes another revival of a classic IP that takes one step forward, but two steps back. I mean, it's like you can't even beat everyone to death with a giant dildo anymore. Just saying, you can't just backpedal from something like that. Saints Row. Jump into the chaos of Saints Row once again, as the year 2022 brings us an entirely new vision of the Saints crew, with new mechanics, glossy visuals, and a cursed customization system that would give Spore a run for its money, that puts a coat of brand new paint on the tried and true Saints formula of solving all your problems by shooting things until they explode. You know, the American way, that despite the facelift doesn't add anything particularly new, but plays well enough if wanting violence and driving into things like you're a geriatric with a death wish is what you want to do with your Saturday night. We bring the party! Experience the frantic third-person shooting action of Saints, where you'll dodge gunfire from all sides against the onslaught of AI they throw at you, that you can mostly deal with by rolling around like Sonic on Adderall. Then use your handful of skills that range from throwing grenades to straight up doing a falcon punch because you got tired of putting 4,000 rounds into a single goon. In mechanics that are fine for a third-person shooter but feel pretty dull in contrast when you straight up had superpowers. In a game that's clearly trying to go for a more toned down premise but still makes you get into almost every car by going feet first through the window. I think they could have kept all the ridiculous shit if your character was just going to look like Ronald McDonald going through a midlife crisis and turn to crime. Watch the rise of the titular Saints as you build up your gang from zero by literally pissing off everyone around you. Then take the role of the boss as you guide your crew of colorful millennials with the one skill you have, being really, really good at killing as you take on rival gangs and PMCs all in a bid to become the biggest, baddest crime crew in fictional Fresno. Boiling down to the age-old tale that friendship is truly the greatest weapon of all, right next to the rocket launcher, in a story that makes no sense if you gave it even a second of thought. But you probably won't because it's not like you came to play these games for the provocative narrative anyway. It kind of just seems like a slightly different take on the original story, which you're really not going to put in the best bro Johnny Gat? That's like having Mario without Luigi, Banjo without Kazooie, Big Smoke without a burger order. A number seven. Two number 45s, one with cheese, and a large soap. Uncover the eventful open world of Santa Eleso as you blast through all the usual open world stuff and plowing through every car and civilian on your way to get there, which is made easier by apparently being denser than a small star as you knock vehicles away like you're playing rugby against a preschool. Then commit the numerous ridiculous crimes for money ranging from shooting people from the roof of a car, doing a battle royale, or participating in a LARP, as each somehow gets you one step closer to literally building your criminal industry that despite the generic open world is still filled with some pretty interesting things to destroy. Yeah, I know the biggest addition is being able to flight suit away from a car like a giant flying squirrel or whatever, but being able to use a porta potty like a mace is definitely the standout feature. Discover the Saints Row Reboot's biggest addition to the series formula, 10,000 New Bugs, as you watch the game fall apart in brand new ways every time you play it, from hard crashes to the desktop, to soft locking you on the character creation screen, missions not saving completion sometimes, just for fun, and many, many other varieties of glitch that will make you say, wow, they should have delayed this for six months. Honestly, it's kind of impressive that they achieved near cyberpunk levels of jank without any of the ambition. Truly an achievement in gaming. So don your best taco hat and get ready to dig through the trash in a remake that wasn't necessary at all, that plays and looks like Mickey Rourke feels, but still kind of fills the void that GTA left after you stopped playing in your online roleplay server. Starring Big Bossa Nova, Michelle Rodriguez disguised as Zoe Deschanel, Scrawny Gat, and Steve Urkel, just cause. Hey, you know, maybe for the next game, what if we tried going just a little farther outside the box, huh? I mean, this game didn't even let me play as a toilet, not even once. Tell us what you'd like to hear in my epic voice in the comments below. This is the story of someone too tough to beat, someone known as Kid Chameleon. It's so easy when you're evil. Your tears are all I'll ever need. 
Wahahaha. People might get old, but victory sure doesn't. The spice must flow. With great recession comes great debts.